Good morning, guys. We are back from weigh-in, and this is our weekly for this week. Be kind to yourself. This weekly, the, the first page of it reminded me of Sandy from Let's Get Fit because she, this Monique, talked about how she gave herself some tough love and she would set deadlines to lose a certain amount of weight and then she would fail and then be upset with herself. So Sandy, that reminds me of you. So I think you did the right thing by stopping doing that. And also it reminds me of myself because when she would go shopping, she would comb through the clearance rack for simple basics to get her by. Uh, looking back, it was like thinking that I wasn't deserving of the clothes that I really loved. And that is so true. And I don't do that. And that's one reason I don't do that is because I feel like I do deserve the better clothes, even if it's just for a short time and I can pass them along to somebody who can really use them. To me, it's worth buying the stuff that you really love instead of the stuff that you may not look what you think is your best. That's what I do and that's what I've pretty much always done. I've tried looking at Goodwill and stuff and I'm like, no, I, I deserve this. I deserve to spend a little bit more on my clothes than I would paying a dollar or so at a rummage sale or something that I really don't love. Get something you love to wear and that you think you look good in. And I've always done that. And now I know that with this, it helps me feel like I did the right thing, <laughs> you know. So this is a really good weekly this week. I really enjoyed it. Now let's get on to the weigh-in. And of course, I always send you over to Sandy's channel at Let's Get Fit because she does great reviews on this. And I bet you she recognizes that for herself as well. I haven't watched her videos yet if she put any out yet, but I bet you she recognizes that in herself. So, I had to start a new book today because I had my last book. And remember what I said, last week I had a gain. So I was glad that I used the last week up with my gain. I had a 1.6 gain, which brought my total down to 114.2 lost. And I'm 211.4. But first, we'll go to Corey's weigh-in. Because he always has such great weigh-ins. His last weigh-in, he had lost 2.8. And he was down 113.8. So this week, this is his results. One or 2.6. 2.6 after a 2.8. He's nuts, I'm telling you guys. It's not like he's just starving himself or anything. He eats all the time. It's kind of pushing me a little bit to get my butt moving. And his total loss now is 116.4. So as of right now, from my last weigh-in, he is ahead of me because I was 114.2. So he, right, as of right now, he lost more than me. Now let's move on to my weigh-in. Now you guys know I did the one and a half days of the egg fast. I started at noon on Thursday. I did the egg fast for the rest of the day and then all day Friday I did, did the egg fast and I have information on the egg fast in my Facebook group which my Facebook group is linked down below if you're curious in what that is you can check out my Facebook group I do have a post over there on that so this week and I have to tell you guys something after I show you this so this week last week you know I gained 1.6 this week Four point eight. I finally got this stupid scale to move and most of this came off in the last two days and I know I know it's mainly water weight but let me tell you what I did when I got on the scale this morning I almost fainted because I almost had lost eight pounds it was like 7.8 or something like that I'm like oh my god I don't want that big of a loss I don't because I knew most of it was water weight from the egg fast so what I did was I drank some water and I put my shoes on and I changed my leggings into my heavy jeans my heaviest jeans that I have which were about two pounds or so I put those on got on the scale with my shoes on and it came up a little bit so that's what I did and I still got 4.8 doing that so I technically lost more than this by like three pounds. So it was like 7.8 or something like that I would have had on here. And I would have been three pounds away from Wonderland. But I couldn't do that to myself because I knew I would gain over half of that back next week, which I probably still will. I just wanted to get under where I was and I did. 
So I'm very happy with that. And I'm still going to do the egg fast Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Still, if I lose too much again, I'm going to add my jeans, add my shoes, and drink some more water just to get that back up because I do not want a fake loss. You know what I mean? Because I know most of that. I mean, eight pounds, that's, you know, that's water weight. You know, the majority of it is water weight. So that's why I did that. I could have had a lot more loss to show you guys, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And I didn't want to see too big of a gain next week, which it may, it may not happen because I'm doing the egg fast for three days before, but the week after it's all going to come back on probably. So uh, if I have too big of a loss next week, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add my jeans, add my shoes. I did wonderful. I stuck to my plan all week again, just the same as I did the last two weeks when the scale went up for me. But I think the egg fast helped get rid of that water weight. And also, you got to remember, I walked 19 miles throughout the week. So that probably helped get rid of water weight as well. That is all I have for you today. Those are our weigh-in results. We're super happy with them. And I hope I can keep that loss next week. You'll find out on Saturday next week when I weigh in again. And like I said, I'm going to be doing just one video for the whole fast. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you will not see what I ate from me. You will just see a small update on how I did for the day, how I'm feeling, all of that stuff. We will talk to you guys tomorrow for another What I Ate. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you think this may help somebody, please share it. Also, subscribe to my Facebook group. Down below is the link to it. Come on over and join us. I am doing the whole fast over there as well. And you can watch, follow along. I'll be doing an update every day over there. And then I also have a challenge going on for the whole month of May. And I'm also doing a challenge over at Kate and James's channel which I'm doing a spreadsheet on my channel for it too, but I put a link to their Facebook group so everybody can join over at Kate and James for their blue dot challenge for the whole entire month of May. I'm doing a water challenge on my page for the whole month of May and also the blue dot challenge along with them. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys.